Today we'll be looking at the program called UFW or the Uncomplicated Firewall. It's a very simple, straightforward program that allows you to manage your firewall since a lot of people don't or a lot of people end up accidentally not using a firewall on their Linux machine. So first you'd want to install it by doing a simple uh, hold on a second. That should be better. And also it should probably be I should probably do this so you could read on a phone, but install it. You do okay. You do whatever your package manager is. In this case, it's with Arch, so it's Pacman. And you do U W. And install it. Something you know is you have to always must be run as a root user, so you must always use sudo or sudo, depending on how you pronounce it. But to enable it, you do sudo ufw enable. However, don't do that because if you do that, you will lose access to your machine. If you're in a graphical, you're fine. If you're as accessing a server, then you are. <laughs> you're in an interesting situation because by default it'll block everything so don't enable it yet instead do app list and it'll give you a list of all of the different services that you can enable what you want to do is do it so a u u f w and then can allow and then find SSH SSH you must type it exactly the way it appears in your terminal and hit allow SSH which will allow anyone to connect to it however and to uh, and to remove packet and move uh, and to remove uh, services from the uh, SSH the CDU, the CDU, delete allow SSH okay that removed SSH and there's something you can do that's better for SSH if you're because you don't want people that continually try connecting to your machine so instead you want to do you have to do limit SSH which will pr pretty much make it so that if after I don't remember how many tries, but they'll be blocked, that IP will be blocked from trying again. That's really good for protecting servers from people trying to just connect constantly. Start UFW, do UF, enable. So now it's going. Meaning that if we now try the SSH of this machine, it should allow. That to work. Let's look at other. Oh, it's the other way around. Just the other things. You probably want to enable the www connections. Uh, deluge, you want to use that. Email. Because all it does is it blocks it from incoming. So if you look at like torrent, ktorrent is well. What it'll do is it'll make it so that you can connect to other things since it doesn't block anything outgoing by default. It only blocks things from coming in because you can see that see that all that by doing it. A U F W U F W status and it tells you what is allowed and whatnot. So just as a reminder, you uh, is always run it as as a root and it's allow and then you do the service name, it has to be spelled exactly the way it appears in the app list. And now peers can now connect to us. So we're using Qubit Torrent. Well, I think that's enough for this video. It was a nice sh short video on how to use UFW. Nothing too crazy. Remember, 
don't enable the firewall until you're done configuring your firewall. That's what every other video you'll find out there doesn't do, is they just strip enable the firewall, and they're like, oh yeah, you probably shouldn't enable it, because as you would just block yourself if you're actually a remote machine. It's like, no, do it before you uh, enable it. How every tutorial should be, don't do something if it will go wrong, because if someone's following the tutorial, it'll just go wrong for them. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Mastodon, have a nice day. Thanks, everyone.